Hello, all. Well, we are going to go ahead and get going today. It is 3.01 Central Standard Time. Welcome to today's awareness webinar for the 50th anniversary celebration of the Senior Nutrition Program. The webinar today is being recorded. It will also be shared later on our YouTube channel, and we'll make sure that that link goes out in our newsletter. If you haven't subscribed to our newsletter, don't worry. We're going to explain how you can do that later today. I am Erin Hoisington with the Nutrition and Aging Resource Center. This webinar is another joint effort between the Administration for Community Living and the Nutrition and Aging Resource Center. For those of you not aware, the Resource Center works hand in hand with ACL to support the aging network. ACL Innovation and Nutrition Grantees and other Older Americans Act stakeholder organizations to leverage and strengthen senior nutrition programs efforts across the nation. In this role, we offer technical assistance, enhanced resources, as well as exciting new educational and collaborative opportunities to support and advance the Senior Nutrition Network. The purpose of the presentation today is to give you an overview of the March activities planned for the 50th anniversary. The staff of the Administration for Community Living has been working hard to bring you the right tools and activities to celebrate the month in a big way. We're excited to share this good news with you, so let's get started. Our agenda for today includes opening comments with the brief history of the Senior Nutrition Program and fun trivia. We also have an ask of you to make the month complete. We'll discuss the celebration, toolkit, and the special anniversary event, along with planned partner activities. Next steps to maximize the month will be presented. Then we'll move to a couple of slides on the about the Nutrition and Aging Resource Center. And finally, we'll wrap it all up with an opportunity for questions and answers. Your speakers today are Carrie Lipperani and Kathy Wilson-Gold from the Office of Nutrition and Health Promotion Programs. Just a little bit about them. Carrie joined the Administration on Aging as the director of the ONHPP in 2017. She has over 20 years of experience developing programs in the government and nonprofit sector. Carrie is passionate about older Americans and making sure they are nourished both physically and mentally. Kathy is a registered and licensed dietitian with over 30 years experience in business and industry. She currently serves as a contractor on the nutrition team delivering business acumen to the network. Our speakers are ready to tell you about what they have planned for March. Carrie, the floor is now yours. Thank you so much, Aaron. I hope you can see me okay and hear me all right. But I'm so excited to be here today and to be kicking off this webinar and really just so excited to see a great representation from across the nation, to see some familiar names as well as some of my former Maryland colleagues. And even I saw someone from not so far from my hometown in Pennsylvania. So today we're here because someone has an anniversary and they're celebrating 50 years. And that's right, it's the Senior Nutrition Program. They're gonna be 50 years old in March and we're going to have a party. We've been working very hard to make sure that your programs have all that they need in order to celebrate this golden anniversary right. Kathy's gonna tell you more about that in just a minute. But first I wanna give some brief history. So Congress added the Senior Nutrition Program to the Older Americans Act in 1972. The Senior Nutrition Program brought a new era of federal commitment for food and security for our nation's seniors. Thanks to the inclusion of nutrition in the Older Americans Act, generations of seniors who otherwise might have got hungry now receive healthy meals. And it's not just about filling empty stomachs, as you know. Enhancing food security is associated with better overall health and well being. But again, you know that because you've been doing this mission for many years. Next slide, please. So let's take a stroll down memory lane. I want to set the tone here. So the number 50 is very easy to roll off the tongue quickly. 50 years, though, makes a huge difference. So let's talk about 1972 for a minute. Now, some of you might not even been born in 72, and I have to be honest, I was in my mother's womb in 1972. But for those of you that do remember that time, uh, the big movies 
uh, included the all-time great movie, The Godfather. Now, maybe I'm saying that because I'm a little partial because I am Italian, but we also found that Poseidon Adventures, not the, the original one, not the new movie that was released in 2006, and also What's Up Doc, starring, starring Barbara Streisand. In 1972, let's think about this for a second. The average retail price of gas in the U.S. was 36 cents per gallon. And if you needed a front end, front end alignment, it was $11.95. The Emerson black and white TV, 19 inch screen was $98. And some of you may have not, you know, only seen black and white in pictures and maybe can't even imagine not seeing in color. The world population was about 3.8 billion people. The battle of the sexes was once and all over when Billie Jean King beat Bobby Riggs in a three straight tenant set. And clothing no longer stuck to you <laughs> because there was the introduction of the dryer sheets. And nobody likes static cling, so we can definitely agree that that was a very good product invention. For me personally, when I think of the 70s, I love music. So I immediately think about all the great music legends that are still rocking the world today. And even though much has changed in the last 50 years, what we do has not changed. Senior nutrition programs have been delivering nutritious meals to older Americans, again, for 50 years. And while the cars that they delivered the, me the meals in have changed, and while the clothing on the volunteers and the staff may have evolved, one thing remained constant. Our senior nutrition participants are their priority and making sure that they receive nutritious meals is what we do. So again, as you see, the whole um, thing happened in 1972, but mu much has remained the same. And again, it's a good thing for our seniors because we are committed to their health and well-being. Next slide, please. As a former program manager, I just ask that you please indulge with me at, a, in a, at this moment, because one of the things I truly miss is not entertaining the seniors at the senior centers. So I'm gonna ask a question and uh, please put in the chat box. It looks like somewhere ahead of us, <laughs> but please put in the chat box uh, on the trivia. What color were tennis balls prior to 1972? Were they yellow? white, red, pink, or green. So I think actually it looks like you can vote. I can't vote, but it looks like you can vote on the screen. Alrighty, so it looks like 55% said white. Now I hope that you knew that and you didn't Google it, <laughs> but the answer is white. Now, in some cases they were black, but see that wasn't an, an answer that you had to choose from. So if you chose white, you were correct. It wasn't until 1972 that yellow tennis balls were introduced into the official rules for the game. And the reason for changing this, I'm told that it was yellow that made it more visible for viewers that were watching TV. Although I was kind of confused by that because we just talked about black and white TVs, but that's what they said is that it was yellow and it was known as optic yellow to make it clearer to see. Next slide, please. The party begins with you, absolutely. The celebration cannot happen without you. We need you to make this celebration complete. So here is my ask. We're gonna be collecting materials from our local senior nutrition programs to in, infuse into our celebration. So we need photos, we need new photos, we need old photos. We welcome these photos of your program, your per program participants, everything from the current grab and go events to bell bottoms and beehive hairdos. We want it all. So send us up to three uh, high quality photos and to your right, you'll see that we have an example of a photo that was submitted to us. Uh, Real Services sent us this photo of their food truck that they used to generate revenue for their senior nutrition program. 
So simply something like that and send us these photos. I do have to say just a little housekeeping is that we need a photo release signed by the individual shown in every new photo. Now, if you're sitting here thinking, I don't have any photos and maybe your programs are not equipped right now being that some are still in remote and you're saying, hmm, I can't produce any photos for you right now, Carrie. That's okay. If you don't have any photos, we'd love to see maybe copies of love letters that seniors or caregivers have written to you. Um, other appreciations that maybe you've received for your program, quotes from seniors, uh, healthy recipes that maybe you use in your programs, news clippings, other, other stories or other things that maybe were online stories. All that we ask is that if you please would forward us these submissions by March 18th. Again, Kathy's going to tell you why that um, 18th is kind of important. Uh, because we do have something planned later in the month that, again, we want to use these photos. So again, we'll need you to submit this information to us. Please put your program name, vocation, brief description of what you're sharing, the year, if you know when it was published or produced. And again, we will love to include all of these submissions, but unfortunately, we won't be able to guarantee that we'll use every submission. But again, we want you to submit, toot your horn, send us your submissions. So with that, I'm going to now turn it over to Kathy, who's going to take you through the events that we have planned. Thank you. Thanks, Carrie. Um, today, I have the fun job of briefing everyone on the exciting ac activities and the celebration toolkit. And one of the key takeaways from my portion of the pre presentation that I want you to remember is that we've developed a 50th anniversary landing page. So this is a web page. And the importance of the, of the web page is that everything related to the 50th anniversary is stored here. So think of it like your one-stop shop, so to speak. This is where you can go to find everything that we are publishing out to the network as it relates to the 50th anniversary celebration. I included a screenshot of the 50th uh, page to your right, you'll see that, and you'll know you're in the right place. When you see that branding logo, that's a clue that you're definitely in the right place. The landing page is www.acl.gov backslash SNP50. Easy to remember also. On the web page, here's what you're gonna find when you go there. You'll find branding logos, and this is the file that contains 50th anniversary branding logos for you to use with your promotional materials to really spice them up and create interest. There's also a customizable event flyer, and I'm going to detail that a little bit later into, um, into my presentation. You'll also find Twitter and Facebook cover images. We know that this is an active group on social media, and these images are to use on your um, Twitter and Facebook accounts to create interest among your followers. There is also a document banner, and these are images you can use, again, on your promotional materials to really add color and to generate interest. Now, there's also a section that says coming soon to the web page, and these are coming very soon to the web page, and they include a sample article and news release. Um, we want you to encourage your community, let them know that you're celebrating the anniversary. Submit these pieces to your newspapers and other forms of communication. There's also, after a much ask, a community proclamation template. Um, be sure and use this proclamation template to declare the anniversary in your com community. There's social media graphics and posts, and that's to help you communicate and engage. Again, use these to generate interest and also to push out um, information on your special events. Any type of um, activities or special events you're having, it's a great way to let your community know through social media. And then finally, activity ideas, tip sheets, and more. This is the fun stuff. 
And we just want you to know that that is also coming and use our suggested ideas to create fun events for your program participants, for your volunteers and the community. Next slide. This is a very colorful slide and I wanna introduce our branding logo. ACL has chosen celebrate, innovate, educate as the theme for this year's Senior Nutrition Program, the 50th anniversary. With this theme, we celebrate the many accomplishments of the national and the local programs. We acknowledge innovative approaches used to support seniors, and we look at how education can help communities understand and use nutrition services. We've chosen this navy blue sauce pot with colorful parts coming out of it. And I think you'll agree, you can almost smell the yummy food coming out of that sauce pot. And you'll notice at the bottom, the theme words are listed. So we've captured both the nourish, the, the food of our, pro, of our senior nutrition program and also the love that goes into it with the hearts. Next, oh, you're there, all right. Um, the next tool I'd like to, to review with you is the customizable event flyer. The flyer is ready and it's posted to our webpage and you can go today and download it. And I just wanna highlight some of the features of that flyer. It contains the anniversary mark. Again, you're gonna see this on all of our materials. Multi, it's multicolor and the unique design, again, creates interest, it's colorful, and it will definitely get noticed in your community. The marketing flyer can be used to announce program events. Again, it's customizable. And um, I've made it my own example. So you can just see it, how it might work. Um, and this is just an example. So please, uh, this, is, this is a bogus address and um, I've used the ACL logo. So don't show up because this is not a real event but it gives you an idea of what you can do with the customizable um, flyer. And there's, I, I also wanna make you aware that there's a space for your own logo. So you can see, as I mentioned, I've included the ACL logo, but this is where you would put your own logo. Next slide. Oh, we have a poll, we have a question. So the question is, what are you planning for your 50th anniversary celebration. And it could be a parking lot party, cake and ice cream, a guest speaker, social media, a proclamation or other. And if it's other, please put um, that in the chat box and share with everyone. So I'm seeing some ideas going in the chat box. Wellness in the park. We're not sure, but these ideas will help get us there. We invited one of the college marching bands to go around the neighborhood playing and delivering. So cute. Um, likely a combination of many of these ideas. I know we're working on a proclamation from our governor and we'll also do social media. Okay. So here are the results. 11% um, of you said a parking lot party. 21% um, said cake and ice cream. Um, of those who uh, actually participated in the poll, 13 or 9% said that they would have a guest speaker. 51% said social media, they would be using social media and 28% would be securing a proclamation and then 20% would, would be other. Um, also, I'm looking uh, in the chat, here's a fun idea. We're having local chefs on Zoom assisting seniors in preparing meals. We'll also have speakers on how to use different spices. Interesting. Thank you for sharing everyone. 
um, I'm sure you know as you as you sit down and as you um, begin to plan out your your march again you'll have access to um, our web page and the ideas and the tools and the activities housed there so I think I think there's going to be a lot of creative ideas all right um, so on the next slide we have, uh, I wanna share with you the special anniversary event. Um, there is a special event planned for March and you are the guest of honor. And the event is not complete without you. Now here are the details. You wanna mark it on your calendar. The date and the time is Thursday, March 31st from one to 2.30 Eastern Standard Time. We're going to have an awards ceremony honoring you and the categories will be local service provider, AAA and SUA. Details will be posted soon and we encourage you nominate yourself or someone else deserving in these categories. Don't be shy. Feel free to nominate yourself or someone else. We do have a dynamic program planned for each and every one of you to enjoy. So stay tuned and look for that invitation. If for some reason you might have, uh, it might have gone in your spam or you might not have that invitation to register, you can always go to um, uh, acl.gov backslash SMP50 and it'll be, that invitation will be housed there. Okay, next slide. I also wanna let you know when someone celebrates, what happens? Many of their friends and family join them in, in celebrating, and that's exactly what we're doing this year. So it's only fitting that some of our colleagues will help us celebrate. And I want to highlight activities planned by some of our partners. This list, is it's not exhaustive, but it really details some of the key events and the activities planned by some of our partners. So here it goes. So NCOA, they're going to host a Twitter chat on Thursday, March 10th. More details are coming, but it's scheduled from 1 to 2 p.m. East Coast, Eastern Standard Time. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics will be featuring an Aging Network Hero news release featuring a registered dietitian nutritionist working in the network on their publications. Meals on Wheels America will be celebrating the 50th anniversary with their Community Champions Week. And that's scheduled um, from March 21st through the 25th. Local senior, program, senior nutrition programs will be encouraged to invite state, local, and federal officials, local celebrities, and other prominent community figures to safely deliver meals and speak out for seniors and raise awareness for the power of this incredible network. And finally, NANASP is collecting unique program tidbits via an online survey to include finding the program with the oldest participant and other little snippets from um, their members and their non-members. And we encourage you to participate in the survey and to look for some of the interesting tidbits during our 50th anniversary celebration. So just wrapping up, um, next steps. I've, I've tried to really condense this down to four easy steps. One, bookmark the, the landing page. As I mentioned, www.acl.gov backslash SP50 and use the tools um, as you develop your March activities. Two, submit photos and other information by March 18th. Number three, register for the special anniversary event. Don't forget, and if you somehow misplace your, your invitation and registration, go to the website and you can, you can uh, click on the link there. And finally, thank you. Uh, oh, participate, excuse me, participate in our uh, partners uh, events and activities that I mentioned. So with that, I wanna thank you for the opportunity to review the 50 ounce anniversary, 50th anniversary material. And now I'm gonna turn it back over to Aaron. All right, thank you so much, Kathy. 
Again, I am Erin Hoisington. I am a registered and licensed dietitian and the content director for the Nutrition and Aging Resource Center, also known as the National Resource Center on Nutrition and Aging, or NRCNA, um, a cooperative agreement with the Administration for Community Living. Like we mentioned at the beginning of today's event, the Nutrition and Aging Resource Center and ACL work very closely to ensure we are communicating accurate, timely, and pertinent information. You can find the Resource Center website at acl.gov forward slash senior dash nutrition. Um, we have included the link for the 50th celebration from ACL in the chat, and we will also include this link for you. Um, a great way to stay up to date is to subscribe to our monthly e-newsletter, and it's easy to do. Uh, we're also going to put that link into the chat. So please go ahead and click on that so that you can get subscribed and get that coming to your email inbox monthly. Um, and also please follow us on Gene Nutrition on TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Again, YouTube is where this recording is going to be posted later. So go ahead, take your phones out right now. Uh, you're not on video, so we won't see you do, but go ahead and pull them out and I'll give you a few moments to go ahead, log into the social media of your choice and search us at Aging Nutrition. All right, I hope everybody's had a chance to find us. Um, in the sake of time, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next slide. So by visiting our website at the Nutrition and Aging Resource Center, you can also find a plethora of resources from training and tools to COVID-19 information. So please stay tuned as we continue to refine this site, making it more user-friendly, as well as adding information, including best practice guides, infographics, and quickenars, which are bite-sized webinars. We are very excited to create the best possible resource center that can serve the entire senior nutrition network with information and resources relevant to your needs. Now we've come to the portion of the program for questions. I want to encourage you to put your questions in the chat box. I'll read the questions and the appropriate person will answer. Don't all go at once, just kidding. <laughs> really, if you have a question, it probably means that somebody else has it as well. I hope this just means that you have very in-depth questions that it takes you a while to type out and hit enter. Or maybe you have no questions because we've done such an amazing job. Oh, okay. So we have a question asking about the photo release. What if it is an older photo and cannot reach those in the photo? So I'll go ahead. I'll take that. So that, que that question came up um, a little earlier um, in conversation. For example, what if someone... Um, you couldn't read. You couldn't reach them, or even if they are deceased. Um, go ahead and send. Just make a note. Give us some background and where we can call you, and check in with you, and go ahead and submit it. But do provide us with a contact. You'll be doing that anyway. But a contact information so we can reach out. Excellent. Thank you. So the next question I'm seeing is, are we as the SUA sending materials to you or the triple A's? No, you would be sending them actually to our um, communications team. And I need to go back into um, maybe Erin, if one of the staff can pull that off one of the early slides, I believe it was on Carrie's slide. It's beta. It's ACL. Um, aclnutrition at beta.com, I believe, but if someone could double check that. 
that's where the submissions for um, the photos and the love letters and um, the materials we want to capture. Excellent. Thank you. Yes, we'll make sure we get that in the chat. Perfect. Uh, there next, it is. Excellent. Next question. Is there an official date for the celebration or is it just the entire month? Well, we think it should be the entire month, but there is um, a date for the celebration. So it is the last day of the month. It's kind of befitting. We're going to um, really have our big event on the last day of the month. And so um, look at your calendar for March uh, 31st and the time. It, what we've tried to do is, is make it easy for you to remember. And so the time is from 1 to 2.30. And it is the 31st of the, of the month, which is the last Thursday of the month. So mark your calendar, March 31st from 1 to 2.30. All right. Um, Beth asked, what was the web address? Um, Beth, if we have not entered the web address you were looking for, please type in the chat again and be specific which one we can get for you. Um, and then Susan asked, are any of the materials in other languages? They are, they are not, they're not uh, at this, they're not planned for other languages. All right, we had a question about the time zone, but it is 12 to 1.30 Central Standard Time. What if our yes. program hasn't been operational for 50 years, we're at 48, are we still able to participate? So absolutely, I think you're saying, I think that question is, it was for social media, I think. Um, I think that question, if you haven't been operating, absolutely, everyone's, everyone will participate. Um, everyone will participate. It doesn't matter if your program is one year old or 50 years old. The celebration is for you. Excellent, thank you. And then Beth asked um, for the social media. So we are gonna type in that social media, which you'll need to search. So it is the at symbol. Um, that you will type in, whether it's Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. Um, and so we'll get that in the chat for you too. So you can just copy and paste it if that's easier. Um, it looks like we also have a question that says, what else is happening in Congress slash the White House to commemorate this important celebration? So we are working on a presidential proclamation. Um, ACL is actually working on that. And um, more, we'll have more details if there is anything to um, push out in terms of information. But at this time, uh, we're working with the White House on a presidential proclamation. Excellent. And we, we have a message from Andrew that says, good luck with the presidential proclamation. Thank you, Andrew. Anything else? I'm gonna give a few more moments here. So I see a question from Andrew. Um, I'm not sure, maybe you could provide some additional information. as we think about some final questions. Um, I hope everyone is, ex is as excited as we are. Um, I just wanna add that um, we've been working on this for some time, planning it. Um, and I think that the, the important thing is you've been at the, at, at the really the, the focal point in all of this because without you, none of this would really even be relevant and it wouldn't even happen. And we are grateful for the, the work and the aging, your work in the aging network. And we are so excited that March will bring much celebration for a beautiful program that contributes so much to the health and well being of seniors. All right. So, seeing, oh, oh, wait. Oh, sorry. I was about to say, I don't see any more questions. And then we got some. So, I appreciate it. Um, 
So Jack says, going back to the question about the celebration date slash month, would our aging network also celebrate on March 31st or celebrate the senior nutrition program during the entire month? We would hope you would celebrate the entire month. Um, we're just, our big event is at the end of the month, but we want to encourage you to start your celebrating, make your plans beginning March 1st. There'll be all kinds of um, our network partners will have their activities. There's going to be a lot to, um, to really participate in, as I mentioned uh, on the slide earlier, but um, no, we want you to we want you to start your celebration in March and continue all month. Plan, plan activities every week. Make it exciting and fun for your volunteers and your participants and the community. Get your community involved. So this is Carrie with my former program hat on. We put we strategically picked the 31st because we were hoping that yes, you would be doing all activities throughout the entire month of March. And therefore, we didn't want to have an event in the middle of you trying to plan your event. So that's why, again, we picked the very last day of March. But absolutely, on the actual day uh, throughout the month of March. And as someone noted, that it's also National Nutrition Month. So again, I do know that a lot of our network also celebrates that. So again, that's why we picked the very last day of March. All right, we do have another question asking, will highlights of events around the country be uploaded for everyone to see? Can you read that? I'm sorry, can you read that again? Absolutely. The question is, will highlights of events around the country be uploaded for everyone to see? So um, as, you, as you send, you could, you could do that via sending in by the 18th and, and I should say that if, if we receive submissions late, we, we'd like to get them as early as possible. If we receive submissions of late, we're gonna do everything we can to include it in, in whatever material we're creating. There's no formal uploading process in, on the website at this point, but what instead we're encouraging you to do is to send those in to the um, address, the email address, and send in also your photo release forms. So you have a way to toot your own horn that way and tell us what you're doing. But at this time, there's not a formalized process on the website. Um, and there was a clarification um, referring to the celebrations on March 31st for folks to view. And maybe this is something that, because um, our last slide is Kathy's contact information. So Latanya, I hope I'm not butchering your name. Um, you know, maybe this is something that you can reach out to Kathy and she can give you a little bit more specifics. I know it's hard sometimes in the chat um, to communicate well. So if we're not answering it for you, we are gonna give you the opportunity. Um, I do see another question that says, what are options for CBOs to include their local seniors in the ACL March 31st virtual event? So that's a, that's a really good question. And I think that depends on, um, on your particular program site. What, I mean, obviously you will, you'll log into um, the, the call and the celebration. And then from there, once, once you're logged in, you could always put it on a larger screen at your program site and you could put chairs around and actually have a party. Um, so you could share potentially, but that will, you'll, you'll wanna work that out on site. Carrie, I don't know if you have any. No, I actually had a colleague of mine, um, and hi, LaTanya. <laughs> I had a call from one of my colleagues in Maryland who asked me a similar question, but it was around like Meals on Wheels volunteers who are often our seniors. And so absolutely, when you get the invitation, feel free to send it out. We really want local providers, folks that are in, in the network um, from again, the kitchen cooks to everyone in between. So um, absolutely feel free to share it. Feel free to, as Kathy said, broadcast it if you can. And uh, we really want to have as much participation at this virtual event as possible. I also think um, Sarah shared in the chat that by tagging social media posts with hashtag SNP50 
is a great way to share some highlights. Um, and also tag us at the Resource Center. So hashtag Nutrition and Aging Resource Center. Um, or if you send it to us, we can also highlight it in our newsletter. So again, subscribe to the newsletter and like us on social media so you can see all this good information. All right. So oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to just, I encourage if you, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. All right. Well, thank you all for attending our awareness webinar today. For information, more information, like Kathy said, go ahead and contact her. Her email address is there on the screen. Um, we'll give you a moment to jot that down if you need to. Um, and remember that this will be on our YouTube channel, Nutrition and Aging Resource Center. Uh, so if you'd like to catch the recording or want to share it out, then that should be an option as well. So thank you, everyone.